Omega oh oh Speed Digits. Coming at you guys from the Gall Racing Headquarters today, the old man is going to demonstrate the proper way to set valve lash. So of course, valve lash is defined as the clearance between the rocker arm and the top of the valve. First step, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the engine is good and warm, and this thing is extremely warm. We just got done warming it up. Why is it so critical to have the engine good and warm? Valve length change. Dimensions of the block, the head, everything changes, and you want the motor at where it's going to run. You want all of the clearances to be where you're going to run it. We will do the exhaust valves when the intakes are just about closed. And we will do the intake as the exhaust is starting to close. And the reason that you're doing that is because then you know- You're like on the you're base circle the intake, of the cam then. Then you know the intake valve is completely Closed and seated. How do you know what clearance to set the valve lash Every at? Every camshaft is different. So yeah. consult your cam card. Correct. So what are we setting the valve lash at on 18 this? 18 and 20. 18 for intake? Yep. So if the valve lash is set too tight and there's not enough clearance, you run the risk of hanging, hanging valve. the valve open. What would happen on the other end if you have too much well, it starts clearance? starts beating things up. Beat up the end of your push rods, top of your valves. Pretty soon, you know, the lifters get too loose and it starts hitting. Cam hits them too hard and bust lifters. Valve train is the biggest failure there is in drag racing motors. Gotta keep, gotta have good stuff. That one was too tight. Just a hair. Recheck your valves after you raced it. A lot of guys do it every weekend. Some guys even more often in between, but you know if something's going wrong, if, if one of them is loose or tight, something is you know going bad. If you have a loose one, generally a lifter or end of a push rod. If you get a tight one, you probably suck the valve a little bit. It starts tooling it, pulling the head off of it. Mm. Turn it into a tulip. The more often you do it, the better it is as far as finding things going wrong in the motor before anything goes bad. Mm -hmm. You know, we get a little lax during the middle of the year and don't feel like doing it, but if, if you got stuff, especially like if you don't have shaft rockers, they need to be done often on a regular rocker. These stay pretty much where they need to be.